Hey guys, welcome back to Gone Home Part 3. We're still exploring the house. And, ooh, a note. Okay, the moment that we're going to make up the guest room for you to stay in o over the summer, but you came home. <coughs> he came home on such a short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore, Sam. Okay, yeah, we get the jester. She's away from home. Or she's away from home. She ran away from home. Because, uh, clearly her... It's a stone. Her mom and dad don't agree with her sexual orientation, or she feels ashamed by it. Okay, well, that's her problem. It's not to be ashamed about. I go by the motto. I've my own motto: love is love. It comes in all shapes and forms. Is there anything in here? No, there isn't. Uh. Oh, sure. Examine composition book. Samantha Greenbrier goes on to journal. Okay, I get the gist. There's going to be a few ghosties. Hopefully not. That would really terrify me. And I hate being terrified. Ooh. Okay, I'll come back to that later. Because I'm probably supposed to pick up something first before I can examine it properly. Okay, more collectibles, just another form. Set player. Make them a note. Halloween. Halloween show. Misfits. Don't forget your costume. Okay. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud, and real, and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy, I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Okay, I think she could tell what. It's kind of confusing. Yeah, I know what you're into. Okay, fine, but whatever. I'm not gonna judge you. Okay, map. Honey, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage into that Oscar trivia all stuff in it. Oh my god, I think to go see this. We're skipping six. Sixth class, sixth period, okay, wh whatever. Okay, so there are a few <laughs> hidden passageways. Alrighty then. Jeez. That freaking dress, I thought it was a ghost. Now I'm really on edge. And doors stop attacking me. Don't appreciate being attacked. Especially by inanimate objects. It's not good. Not good for the health. Okay, let's see what the save is. Okay, mm -hmm. enough of that. I don't get um, content I need. YouTube has gone mad with that content ID shit. It's no longer as user friendly as it once was. Okay, the attic is locked. And the secret passage was in mom and dad's room, and holy shit! 
Kills the room, kills the room, kills the room. Kills the fucking door. Jeez, I hate that tundra. It freaks me out. Okay. Don't pull the string. Okay, hope there's not a creepy down here. Nope. Okay, Oscar did have some pretty creepy stuff. Oh, I see what I found was a hidden panel. I get you. I hate that sound, I really do. It was around here, wasn't it? Yep. Should be right in the corner. Ooh, misfits. Okay, nothing. The Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. No, we all have that feeling. I sometimes feel like a shook up, shook up can of coke. Right, I always feel like that. That's why I'm always hyper. Although I don't sound like it. But my voice can be very deceiving. I'm actually a psychopath in real life. Ah, just kidding. Seriously, it's kind of interesting, the story now, how it's slowly unfolding and I'm going the wrong way. Although, I'd appreciate it again, didn't lag so freaking much. Okay, I really want to know what happened to the family now, because it's... It's just, oh god, so damn interesting now. No other way to put it. And the third panel was here. And I believe this is the Uja board. I want nothing to do with that. And this is the second part of the code for. Second part of the code for Lonnie's locker. Okay. <coughs> hello, hello. Who are you, Oscar? What, what do you want to come back? I, I assume he means to come back, but I'd prefer if he'd stay where he was. I want nothing to do with ghosties. Ghosties are creepy. Okay, what's the code? Um, zero five. One zero, something like that. Oh no, zero four, zero five zero one. Okay. Zero five zero one. Open. Ooh, cigarette pack. Morley cigarettes. Or more Morley filter cigarettes. Okay, I do not approve of smoking. Smoking is bad. Lonnie came over today. But everything was... different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. 
She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> okay. There is clearly something going on between Lolly and Lolly, uh, friggin' Lonnie and Samantha. And that's the reason why she ran away from home, I assume. Nothing wrong, add it to the back, backpack. Okay, turn on more lights in here because it's kind of creepy without them. Okay, that's better. And now we're going to the basement. I am not looking forward to this one bit. This looks creepy. <sighs> Read the notes. Dear Spent, I would love to Coralie. Thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoy the, f the what potatoes and all. What the hell is that? I don't know what that word is. The color, I'll just say, the colorful potatoes. And also, it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend, confident Lonnie D. Okay. Bye, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay, I want to leave the basement, I want to leave the basement, okay, what do you have to get here? We have to get something, we must have a key to, to pick up or something like that. Samantha and Lonnie, okay, that's kind of cute. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around, well, you know, so you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Yeah, okay, so, so those two are definitely going out. Good for them, and I... S and that is most definitely the reason for Samantha running away from from home. Wouldn't blame her. Oh, things are getting creepy. Oh boy. I don't like where this is going. Just creeped out here. Okay, a postcard. Okay, I'm assuming that's just for Katie. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. 
Stick with the group. Okay, another lovely piece of dialogue there. And who is this Terry prick? Okay, and the clue what the combination is for that. And this game is creeping me out even more. Don't scratch. Girl Scouts. Okay. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Okay, yet again, another piece of dialogue. Read college, yada 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 yada. Summer to Greenbrier, Everly Hills, Macaroni. Please perform your admission to the Great Rising Track of Read College. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, she got accepted into college. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Oh, that's terrible. Hope she didn't die or anything. Oh, spooky hallways. They're never good. What? There's four rooms? And we have to find a combination for the safe as well downstairs. The Psycho House Girl, the coolest stuff. The coolest stuff of Brad. What the? The coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. The cool. Continue one, everybody in the hall. You don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of. Um. Peripheral? Per. per uh. I haven't a clue what. Don't worry, I can read, it's just I can't read her writing. Costumes, skeletons, and devils. Cheerleaders from the smells Cheerleaders from the smells like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Cool. That's like a mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome, and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Okay, okay. Ooh, comic book. <coughs> Women outlaws. Women outlaws. Hmm. Pillow fight. Okay, potato chips. Anything else? Sonic Youth, the Amps Bikini Kills. Killed. Sunday November 5, Rosland. Okay, read letter. Spent Green Briar. Didn't screw up. We should have an effort to write a letter to show initiative and it was well written, but it does not change my mind on this matter. Well, I understand. 
what I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is she defaced good property with the fancy the fact that she led to the face for own not her retaliation for another student doing the same to, to yours is, is um <coughs> immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for, for the part in the inc incident the, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward and there's been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I'd suggest letting this issue drop as we will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began the whole incident in the first place. <coughs> I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is. She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Okay, another section of the house unlocked. God, I know I'm not doing much reading or speaking in this, but jeez, I'm just so... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm just really into the game. So... Yeah, that's bas basically it. I do have these solid moments. Oh yeah, that's the plan too, okay. Jeez, I hate those sounds, they're creepy. Okay, um, grab lid. Anything in here? Read note, skull was, you can see, found the Mexico and it was a tree box. I love, I love it. Very nice, must miss you, Lolly. Okay. Please, thank you. Grab mom's purse and run like hell. Um, and um, examine pamphlet. Put back. There's more crazy shit underneath it. Oh, yeah, I got two tickets. <coughs> Shh, quite dirt under. You're scaring me. Okay, we won't be needing that anymore. It's very firm. This distributing inappropriate materials on school ground. This reaction they can pull off to students' parents. Of the school suspension. Well, they have no honor permanent record, so. <coughs> Since you put yourself to self and your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the, ne for the rest of the month from <coughs> from yada yada yada. From social, <coughs> you are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone. And privileges and your use and from using your car for any for any time except going going to and from school. We unless we understand what you're going through. We can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior. School clearly one of your privileges once your privileges 
privileges are reinstated we reinstated we can't allow you to we can't allow you to have your bedroom bedroom door closed while not is at the house thing is thing is the last this is the last word on the matter yet get back in your course so we won't have get, so we won't have to yes. get back in your course this won't happen again dad okie dokie I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight one you are never gonna need to have I mean you've known right I've known I've known <sighs> since like she -Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. Okay, a very long phase, and it's back, back. And I will end this part here because I haven't a clue how long I've been recording so so far yeah it's so, very intriguing like I just want to get to the end as, as fast as possible because I just want to see the outcome what what happened what happened to her parents what happened to Lonnie where do you know like, like I I'm so awed by this game I'm speechless nearly enough So yeah, that, that's it. I'll see you in part 4, which probably won't be up until next week. So until then, see ya.